as we let the pitcher for Cleveland get warmed up. Sorry about that. We're back on YouTube. There's something going on with the broadcast stream on YouTube. We're back up. You can watch it. We can't see our video monitor. But with that being said, Mark, I'm going to make you happy, buddy, because I'm taking this off here. So look at look at your view now. Set that up top if you don't mind. Up top there. You know what? I, I got a better idea, Mark. You gonna throw it out the window? No, but yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> it's not the monitor's fault, actually. It's the operator. <laughs> no, it's not the operator. It's it's just don't first kick pitch it strike. Down, don't to, kick it down there now. No, first pitch strike to Dunlap with a curveball. First it's YouTube but, itself, not one to work properly. For a ball. <coughs> you like that better now, Mark? Look at you. You can cut that lot off if you want to. Behind you. No, you'd like to see. One ball, two strikes. But then our buddy, can, can you see in the dark to write the book? Can you write the book? Oh, yeah. I can see it, see it with my eyes closed and me books I've done. <laughs> oh. That ball up the way. Ah. Wow. Why One out recorded. Swing at something that is up around the rim of your. Stepping up to the plate for the comments number 11, catcher Owen Fitzsimmons. Helped him out. He did. That's the thing in athletics. Make them earn it. Don't, don't, don't help them. But make good decisions. That one was not. <clears throat> and first pitch swing in. Fly ball to the pitcher. And Boy, just, quickly, Cleveland's taken down. Man, fighter, he just got another quick out. Two outs. Bam, bam, right there, you know. On five pitches. Yep. That next for the comments, number 15, designated hitter, Dominic Pegues. What he said, Dominic Pegues is up. Better known as Dom. Dom. He's been swinging a good bat. Don, Don, Don. Peggy. Back to back curveballs. 0 2 now. He's the designated hitter for, of course. Cameron Royal, 412 average. 20 appearances, 17 at bats, 8 rookies. See if did he go, and they, they said no, he did not. That's one thing I've noticed across the, the last couple of years, Kenneth. Kids that check swing, nine times out of ten, the umpire rings them up on that. Oh, yeah. That could have gone either way right there. They don't have sure. to do much. Pitch up oh. high. Curveball outside his body. He left it way up. Justin Flannery, by the way, the starting pitcher for the Rams tonight, the senior, number 12. Counts full. On Dom, three balls, two strikes. Fastball popped up, foul. Dom continues to battle for the comments at the plate. Well, we're making up, <laughs> making up for some of the pitches that uh, make this longer inning. Full count now. Six pitch at that. Here's seven. Ooh, that was and a walk plate. and look out. And the pitcher was walking off the mound. He was, oh, he was adamant that that was going. He thought that was, yeah. He had it, didn't he? He said, man, I got him. And he did not get the outside the now. corner call. First baseman, number 14. As they say, we're wrapped Souls. around the plate. He went with them. Ball Bad in the dirt. Pitch and, yeah. Don will advance from first to second on the pass ball. Don's been off to the races this year. He's been stealing bases left and right. Dominique Pagues will go. Here comes Biscuit Brandon Souls. Base hit would score, possibly. Senior, number 14 for the Comets. First baseman. That ain't a big enough lead at second. No, it's not. Flattery checks the runner at two. Pitch comes in. They call a strike. It's don't, even. Don't give up on it. That's the other thing. Stay engaged. Come on, man. One, one. We're hunting fastballs right here. 
One ball, one strike. Off the plate. Ooh. Let's go, Biscuit. Stay tall. Get the hand straight right here. Get a barrel on it. Delivers. And Dom is going for third. And the ball gets Bad. by the third here baseman. Comes, Mark. Pass the ball. Here we go. Comets will score. Dom Pookies in the designated hitter for Cameron Royal. The number three batter is on the board, and the Comets go up 1 0. With still two outs, uh, Mark. Bad throw from the catcher to third base. Instead of being inside the bag, it was outside of the bag. And third baseman could not adjust to the throw, and the ball got by him. And ball four high. Good at bat. And now Biscuit's going to where he knows very well. First base, Braden Souls. And still two comments. outs. Number 17, if I had Alejandro Sardi. If I had a nickel for every baseball game I've been at when somebody scored with two run, two outs and they yeah. scored a run. Oh, yeah. He'd be a rich man. We could all we could all retire. I, Ken, Kenneth will attest to that. Absolutely. And as a matter of fact, JV game, I know they scored uh, yeah. at least yeah more than half their runs in the first game on two outs. See? Biscuit is trucking, He's running the home. Road. Here's the throw. Did he get him? He Scott did. Him. Oh, he got him out at home plate. Wow. Oh. Oh. oh, my goodness. Hard hit ball fielded cleanly by the third baseman, but the errant throw to first. Runners advance, but to play a home, he is called out for out number three. So after one complete, wow. your comments one. And that other team, zero. <laughs> We're back for the second next. Total Refrigeration is your 24-hour emergency service with lots of insured specialists that can take care of all your needs from commercial, residential, and industrial refrigeration. Total Refrigeration and AC Services proudly support all of Eastern North Carolina from the Triangle all the way to the Crystal Carolina Coast. And they service air repair. Also, for all brands of refrigeration, ice machines, heated and air conditioning equipment, and so much more. Located in Elm City, contact Total Refrigeration and AC Service today at 252-315-1482 for immediate service for 24-hour emergencies. Or contact the office directly at 252-650-4061. Also available online at Total Comfort 123 at Yahoo.com. That's Total Comfort 123 at Yahoo.com. As simple as 123, spring, summer, hot months are upon us. Let Total Refrigeration keep you cool today. Check the back seat. Check the back seat. Gets in your head, right? Good, because every year dozens of children are forgotten in the back seat. Cars get hot fast and can be deadly. So get it in your head. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. Well, one inning down, the Comets was able to bring one run in from, of course, our buddy Dominic Pegues. And since then, it is. 1-0, top of the second now, Mark. First pitch to the batter, swing and a miss for a call, strike one. On a nasty slider. Cameron Royal on the mound for the Comets. The Barton College Bulldog Chopper commit. Second. Look at that. That's going to be a hit. He's going to field it. The throw Ooh, wow. is not going to be in time. He tried to throw that ball running into left center field, but back towards first base. And Cooper Phillips puts the tying run at first for the Rams. Coming to the play next for the Rams. Young Number man 18. made an awesome attempt to Jack get out Ball. there and get the ball, but Ozzie Newsom, he is not. <clears throat> Great effort, though. So right now, as it stands, it is a one-run lead for the Comets here. It's 1-0 at the end of the first. We're at the top of the second. Ooh, pitch ball one call. 
Cloudy, 59 degrees. Tonight, overcast with a chance of rain showers at times. Low at 49. But more of that weather is supposed to be coming in overnight until the wee hours of the morning. Ooh, big swing. Pinch and a strike, and it's 1-1, one, one Mark. This is, what is this, number 19, I believe, or 18, Jack Dalton. Jack Dalton. I do I, I know y'all, you know, it's Cleveland's. There's definitely a, a nemesis rivalry here, but I do say I like their jerseys. Oh, whoever come up with their nice. jerseys, I like that design. I really do. It's called Carolina. That's Tar who came up with it. Yeah. So they're copying what the Tar Heels did. They are. <laughs> oh, hit right. by oh, a pitch. Dalton hit by a Smoking. pitch. Hitting the shoulder. And the umpire is going to call a check on him. And without any disregard, Dalton about just flung the damn bat. He about took out his own two Ram players there trying to get ready to hit and be the bat boy. I don't think Dalton realized that he about slung the bat and hit two of his players. Good thing is Dalton's okay. He'll be safe at first. I wonder if there's ever been a kid in high school base in high school baseball. Hit with so a bat? There's no, there's never charged a Number five, Brooks Moore. We talking about like get mad and come after the pitcher? Yeah. I've never seen one. I've never seen one do it. I just want. I just wonder. I'm sure. I'm sure somewhere. There's. Somewhere around somebody has. But why don't we ask Google? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure if you go so through one. Nobody of out. Runner, okay, Google. Runner at first and second. Has he need? Yeah. I gotta start over. <laughs> yeah. Can cancel. Cancel. Oop, foul ball. Batter squares the, the bunt. Pops oh. it up. Fouls. Try this one. again. Okay, Google. Has anybody in high school baseball ever charged the mound on a pitcher? Google's going to say, what are you talking about? What you talking about, boy? Here are some results from a search. Luke Heimlich, born he in 1996, an American pitcher who is a free agent who attended Oregon State University and played as the first high school player who ever charged the mound. I didn't even know they had or baseball in Oregon, did you? Luke Heimlich. The only thing I knew they had was fish and trees. <laughs> that was a really nice block by Owen right there on that pitch. It's a good O2 pitch. You know, it's kind of what I was looking for earlier. Oh, threw it right by him. Wow. Caught him looking for something else. What a pitch. So there you go. Somebody up in Oregon Coming State, Mark. For the Rams, charged, number two. Charge the mound. Ty Lee. Here comes Ty Lee, the junior outfielder, shortstop, second baseman. Rams have runners on first and second. One out. This is going to be a big game today, guys. You know this for conference, for sure. Oh, obviously. yeah. Ball one. Got these two teams here, seven and three. It, it wouldn't matter. It's going to be a big game, no matter whether it's in conference, out of conference. <laughs> like I said, these, these kids grow up playing against each other side by side. Well, you do area. understand that the conference play, the Cleveland Rams are three and one. Oh, yeah. The Comets are three and oh. They are still being considered first place in the in the conference standings. We have to make up the rain out from last Friday against South Garner. Obviously, the most recent game was a 14-4 win over the South Garner Titans, Mark. Remember that? Last Tuesday night. Where we were up here having fun again? Yes, sir. One ball, two strikes. You was here for that one? Yeah. We all, yeah. Big pitch right here. Big pitch, important pitch. Batter calls time. <clears throat> Love to see something either up or out of the zone right here. Put a little pressure on him. Like a fastball up around the rim of the helmet that maybe he'll swing at like our batters do. Mm -hmm. That was the thought. Right by him. Locked him uh -huh. up. And he caught him. Two away. Caught him looking strike With three. With two away for the Rams. Coming to the plate. Number four, Zaylin Ingram. 
Well, Mark, that's exactly what you said you thought was going to happen there, and it just did. That's all we need to throw him. Because if you throw a fastball, he, he's going to tie this game up right here. Is this their leadoff guy? Pretty talented player here, Mark. Yes. I mean, I mean I've uh, watched him off and on for a long time. Woo, that ball looked like it was low, but he got a call. It's yep. one. <clears throat> His brother's playing uh, baseball at Fable Tech. Oh, wow. It's a baseball family. Pitch, did he go? Yes, 1-1. One, one. It's that time. Everybody ready for Easter? Sure. Swing. Swing, swing by Zaylin Ingram and strike two. Swing about a bada, swing bada. Two strikes as the runner's going. One, no. two. Clayton will be in the Johnston County Easter Invitational, as they always Boom. are. It's midway. There's Light a them up in. strike three. It retires. Wow, that was a pretty pitch on the inside. That but, was. you know, here's the deal, guys. And we just saw another JV game as well, Kenneth and Mark. Clayton literally in pressure, but somehow Cameron Royal gets out of it, and he doesn't let any of the Rams come in to try to either tie the game or go to the lead. You got the book. You got the stats at the end of the, uh, what do you call it? The end of the top of the second. I do. They have two hits so far. Two hits. Yep. That's it. That's it. We've Clayton hit. is leading by one. We've hit one. One zero. Comets are up in front for varsity men's baseball. We take a timeout. We're back from Pleasant Field for the bottom of the second, and the Comets are back to hit next. Wake County Speedway fires up in less than 12 days. Wake County Speedway, 62nd season. Friday night family fun starts here. Green flag at America's favorite Wake County Speedway is Raleigh's home for exciting NASCAR short track racing. The cars, the crowds, the throaty rumble of engines, all eyes on the green flag. Get the full schedule of races at wcspeedway.com. They're coming to the checkered flag. Wake County Speedway, just 10 minutes south of downtown Raleigh. All the stock car racing team game is the perfect for the avid game board collector, for the race fan young and old, or even just for family night. Order yours today at the stock car racing team game.com. Racing passion in a board game. Perfect for a great family night of fun. Are you ready to roll the dice? You guys were talking about something very important during radio timeout, Martin. Where are we? What's that? <laughs> hey, everything we talk about is important. Isn't that right? <laughs> oh. well, we, you, you guys were just saying that there's a possibility because of the Easter Invitational that they might not put Cameron Royal to the test for the entire full game. When does the tournament start? Saturday, Saturday against Midway. Yep. Nope. Then that's is that spring break for the high schools next week? I believe so. Usually it is during that tournament. Ooh, ball hit inside, hit him on yeah. the arm. Hit the speedster. <clears throat> Frog in the tricep. Yes, sir. Come to play next. Number eight, Tyler Long. You're right, Silver. Be interesting to see what he does here. With the wheels of Reddick. He's going to be on the move. I'd say if he can get a decent read on uh, on the lefty. Better calls time. A little bit of gamemanship going there. Staring the man down. Yep. Waiting to see if anybody's going to give him a sign. Psych him. Psych. Psych. Is he going to square? Is he going to run? Yeah. 
ball went high. And a quick pitch right there. <clears throat> he got the ball, went up, set, and went to the plate. Said psych. One ball, one strike. Calling out the signs. Here we go. See what happens here. He's been quick to the plate. Obviously, they know uh, Reddit can run. Gone. The pitch to throw. He's down and safe. Shortstop could not handle the throw. Ball rolled out of his glove. A runner will be safe. Now we got to get him to third. Number eight up there again, Tyler Long. Count one and two on Long. Runner now we got to get a ball to the no ground. Outs. We got to get a ball to the right side right here. He's got to work hard. He should get a pitch out there off the plate to hit that way. If he didn't have two strikes, I'd say bunt. I agree. I'd be good with that. Cool. Step off, check the runner. Oh, popped up. They're going to call it. Third, base Third base. baseman's got it. That's One the, away. That's the last place on the field with a runner on second. You ordered the ball to go. Yeah, <laughs> that's not, not ideal on that. Number to the plate, uh, number 27, Cam Bryant. Really good pitch by, the, by Flaherty, though. He running it on his hands. He really didn't have a choice. He didn't. Trying to fight it off, and he just got under it and popped it right straight up in there. Yeah, it was, it was Nice job by, by Flaherty. He hung that one out there. Uh-oh. He, he got him. Do you, why not, do you throw behind him? You're a sophomore. Oh, wow. If you want to know the answer to that. I thought that was like the cardinal rule. Correct. Almost, almost like an offensive lineman not supposed to let a defensive <laughs> lineman cross his face. Mark, I got to ask you. Speaking of football, what's your take of the new, the new rules that NFL's coming up with? They stink, and I don't even know all of them. <laughs> you can't wrap somebody up around the waist and bring them to the ground because you're afraid they're gonna fall on your legs. I mean. Somebody told me it was about to become the NFL flag league. Well, I w it wouldn't surprise me, but right now I, I have I have I hear my wife speaking to me in my head right now, so I probably need to hush. What's she saying? Be, be nice now, Mark. Yeah, yeah I, I can't Mark. talk. I can't talk about the generation of wusses that we're raising. Just, I'm sorry. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was about to say the other somebody word. That's why somebody I can't up. take a hit or. Yeah, I'm sorry. I. Swing oh. and a miss. Man, he just got to get this ball and play. That's a big swing. Get up. <laughs> That's why I love it. Hey, we're talking about baseball now. Get back to baseball. <laughs> Otherwise, his blood pressure is going to go up. We don't, we don't. <sighs> That's his passion. I, Two I loves. Totally football and, ba and baseball. Oh, Hard hit yep. ball. Line oh, drive. Short. Wow. He lined it shortstop. If that ball hops, we probably get a run. Goodbye, Cameron Bryant. Number 26. Grant. And Grant Buchanan. Buchanan. Now, that's the bottom of the batting order, I believe, the number nine you batter. You are correct. He's up, number 26. We'll see what the third baseman can do with a runner for the Comets on third with two away. As I said, Mark Coates has a love for football, but definitely <coughs> baseball as well. So, Got to get him at the racetrack, Kenny. Hmm. <laughs> he said, hmm. Pitch. That was a good one, wasn't it, Mark? Right down they the plate. Yeah, they definitely allow contact in racing, that's for sure. They sure, yeah, they sure do. Yes, sir. <laughs> what was that? I, I heard, I didn't hear the rule, but I heard something about they're going to change something about kickoffs. You know, I didn't read all of it. They but. are doing kickoffs like the way the XFL did the kickoffs, where they kick the ball off the ball's there you go pick it up and yeah well, if you're gonna do all that you might as well just spot the ball and just say start on the 20 yard line or 
And what I find crazy is that, you know, they, they, they shy away from obviously saying that, you know, you can't, can't go below the knees to tackle somebody, but they're going to have people running out like gargantuans in the field for a kickoff. If they, you know, you know, 50 years ago, guys weren't as big, strong, and fast as they are now. And we have evolved as a human race over the years. Um, and we're just, you know, players are more muscular. They're more fit. Um, they're faster. They're stronger. And, I mean, it's it, football's a contact sport. Oh, if you yeah. don't like it, if you don't want to get hit, don't play it. Yeah. Oh, that was full count to Buchanan, and he hits a long yeah, drive I agree to with left. You on that, Mark. Under it. Here comes right a run defense. in for the Comets. Just missed. Hitting the ball out. And, unfortunately, the run for Mr. Number 2. Well, not of Reddit Kent is null and void. Do you fly a ball with, with two outs? He was trying to get it to the fence, wasn't he, Mark? I mean, well, you just got to put the ball in play and let good things happen. I mean, unfortunately, they made the catch. So, hey, move on to the top of the third now where your comments will lead after two complete one to zero. And we'd be back. Does getting a bonus for every 12 months you don't make a claim on your home insurance sound like a dream? At Allstate, they don't call it a dream. They call it a claim-free bonus. It's just one of the great features of your choice home insurance, only from Allstate. You should always get something back from your insurance company. That's Allstate, Stan. Are you in good hands? Terms and conditions apply. Call your Allstate agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE or visit allstate.ca. The Comet Athletic Booster Club would like to thank the following family super boosters for their support and generosity to Comet's athletics. The Evans family, the Fitzsimmons family, the Ivy family, the Lee family, the Lowry family, the Mann family, the Michener family, the Stavrianakis family, and the Winslow family. If you would like to support Comet Athletics as a family super booster, Visit www.cometsathleticboosters.com. Thank you for being Comets All In and go Comets! Across the way, Jackie Posey on the call for the state softball game. We are CRN.com. Of course, we are on the Community Radio Network Mixler app. And we get ready now for the top of the third inning. Ready to see what Cleveland can do. They're at the top of the order again, aren't they? Yep, they are. Number nine, back up of Caleb Lynn for the Rams. So, Jackie on the call over there for softball. That game, again, was postponed yesterday due to the field and outfield being just wet. Like, just, it was just wet, nasty, wet. Pipes busted. By the time they even realized that they had to call out the town of the utilities and they couldn't get out there to fix it. Dude. Wow. I don't want to see that water beer. Hard hit ball straight away center field, but right at the center fielder. And he drops and it. he drops it. Runner is coming around mm. first, headed towards second. Here comes the throw, and it will be safe. Ouch. Safe at home. Or safe at two, I mean. Comet center fielder tried to maybe make a, a diving catch, but ball hit him in his glove and bounced out. The Rams. Unable to make eight, the play, so the runner eight. will. Slide in safe to second. Nobody out. He'll be button here. He's going to get him third. So Cleveland at second, the tying run. Oh, he let him swing. Go to the left left. fielder, man. Look at that. We'll take it. Thank you. Comets left fielder over there. 
Put one away for the Rams coming up. Cole Rowry, wasn't it? Number, Number one. seven, Zach Steer. I think that's Jennings, isn't it? Or Jenny. The third. No, left, left. fielder. It, it was. It's Jennings Dunlap. You're right. Lead off man, number six. Number six, yep. We'll take that first pitch swinging and got a ball, fly ball to left. Leave the runner at second. Another nice fly ball to left on first pitch and nice run and catch. So we're two away coming to the plate for the Rams. Designated hitter, number 28, Aubrey Stanley. I just don't understand. Now, Aubrey had a opposite field long fly ball last time. I know him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I wouldn't put him on first and pitch to the next guy. He's standing all up on the plate. I'd get under his hands. He's not going to hit it out of the infield that way. Look where he's at. He's all, all up on it. Backed up a little bit there. With his hands over the plate, I think he's uh, – you can get in his bread box. Pitch. Two balls, no strikes. Come on, bear down right here. Cameron Royal on the mound for the – Comets pitch, and ball that's a ball. 3-0 and oh on the count, man. Looks I, like he's just trying to pitch around. Or make him hit, hit his pitch. But, I mean, 3-0, you give you a force at either bag? No. I'm good with it. What about you, Mark? Yep. I always Ooh. thought pitching was pitching the There's contact. It's a strike, finally. I agree. Instead of trying to strike everybody out. Mindset's change over the years, though. Man, I work with a lot of kids. We don't ever talk velocity. We talk location. We talk mechanics. If they do all that, they'll be out there for big for man a long for the time. Ram. I'm on the inner half. This is horse number twenty-eight, Aubrey Stanley. That breeze is going to be blowing for a while. That name yeah. sounds more familiar from football for the Rams too. When he played well, it football, is. he did, and his brother. He did, yeah. I think his brother went to Barton to play. Ooh, he battled. That was an ugly finder towards Clayton dugout. Aubrey Stanley Jr. Full count battling as Mark and uh, as Kenneth just said. He's battling, staying alive, trying to. We'll start dancing here in a minute. Stay alive. Uh, uh, uh. Did ball he go? Four. Stanley no, ball, four. ball four. Runners at first and second for the Rams. That now don't hurt batting. you. Number 10, I don't Cooper have, Phillips. I don't have a problem with that walk. Nope. Even though I hate walks. Two outs, runners on first and second. Now you got to play basically any bag on the infield. So we started this guy with a slider last time that he swung through, and then we threw a fastball right down the middle, and he's the one that hit the <laughs> ground ball to second to starting. He's late on that fastball, got ahead. Ball on high and outside. One and one the count now. Base hit would probably only score one here. Don't really know the runner at first is a threat to score unless it's this deep to the outfielder in the corner somewhere. Ball to second. That's Fielded up. the throw and the side is retired. Yeah. Good old four to three on three pitches. Weak hit ground ball to the second baseman. Second baseman fields it, makes the play. And as I was posting on social, zeros across the board. Yeah, and Mark, for the second inning now, Clayton has stopped Cleveland from you know getting on the getting on the runs, bringing them in. Hey, that's awesome. 
Right. I mean, Jamie Lee's got to be furious right now. All he's got to do is look in the mirror. I mean, he had a runner at second, no outs. Runner at second, nobody out. Look, one one of one of the one of the listeners has texted me over here, and the very thing we said, you know, why don't you why don't you bunt that guy and get him over with nobody with nobody out? Yeah. Hey, it could easily be one to one right now. You, you had two fly balls left. You bunt. He's at third. Fly ball to left. He scores. Okay, so I'm I'm going I'm going just before we go till we go to a break. I'm just going to say this. I think maybe that's the coach feeling confident, maybe in the top of his lineup. He's going to be in the meet. He's hoping to get more than one run. So he's being he's being greedy, in my opinion. Hold that thought. But I don't know that. That's my take. It's all on the road. Services. The time is now. With mortgage interest rates up, so many smart homeowners are renovating rather than moving right now. And those who hire Atwell Exterior Services in Greenville are thrilled that they did. For residential roof replacement, roof repairs, roof inspections, and more, done right by a local family business with awesome customer reviews, please visit AtwellExtServices.com or call to set up a free inspection. Atwell Exterior Services, honesty, integrity, experience. The time is now. Must not have thrown no pitches. Couldn't have been many. We, that was Dunlap, right? That popped yeah. one over there to the right. right. Field, yeah. Fly to right, and they oh, quickly caught it. it. Uh, one pitch. That was quick. Cleveland took the field, and Jennings Dunlap, the leadoff batter, comes up and hits the first pitch for a fly ball to right field to record out number one. I don't even, th- I don't even think NASCAR can change tires. I don't think nobody could. No. Even with one luck nut now, with one luck nut. Even with one luck nut, yeah. as quick as he threw his, his warm up pitches in the yeah. first pitch. Oh, yes, exactly. It's like they right. just walked off the field, traded places, and did, you uh, know, said, "Let's go." Yeah, and he's already that's about as straight. fast as Rolex twenty four on a driver change, right? Ball bounced off the dirt into the fence or the netting, if you will. One ball, Only one Kenneth Collins would find a way to bring motorsports commentary <laughs> into a baseball game, right? I, I, I mean, I, I guess I could too, it. right? I, Hell I, I yeah, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yes. A <laughs> swing, on, swing. swing it on Lopez and strike two. That's, uh, Fitz. That's Fitzsimmons. Oh, I looked at the JV roster. My apologies. It's Owen Fitzsimmons. My apologies. Just, Owen Fitzsimmons. We just Sorry, Beth. Sorry, Miss Beth. She didn't come up here and get you. Sorry, Miss Beth. She came, she came from behind me the other day while I was doing lacrosse and had like a big bag of popcorn. Oh, wow. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, I was in work mode, you know. Not told her, I was like, I don't eat popcorn. Like, I just don't, you know. Hard hit ball. There you go. Ooh. Third baseman dropped he's, it. Shortstop to the rescue. No, he's, he's not. Base he's hit pl- the first. He's playing Pele with it. Infield hitter air. Air. I would say error, wouldn't it? Error. Yeah, on both of them. Hey, he kicked it to the shortstop. <laughs> <laughs> if we were on the other field, he would have shot and scored. Courtesy runner for the catcher, Owen Fitzsimmons, is going to be number one, Corey. There's your Cole running for. Fitz. I wonder how long it's going to be till they start batting P. Did P. Did now using. batting for the Comets. Designated hitter, number 15, Dominic Luguis. Uh, as soon as the public gets upset. I'm me. not going to go into all the details, but all I will say is like my mom and daddy always told me as a kid growing up, and you people probably know as well, Mark and Kenneth, what is done in the dark will soon become the light. Yep. I, I, I believe that. Right. You try to hide stuff, eventually it'll all come out. Yep. Skeletons don't like staying in closets. He missed a Cole can run. He's already throwing over there. He's going to be off, what, second pitch? Mm-hmm. He's got to get second here. That's Rowry running. Right? Correct, for Fritz, Fitzsimmons. For Owen Fitzsimmons, the catcher. Yes. And this is Dominic Pegues. Two home runs on the year for number 15. Ooh, for the designated hitter. We out for, for the loud. DH. Have it, I was watching a lot of MLB spring training. I've noticed in the last what, especially this, you know, last year, there's a lot of designated hitters now. In, in you know, well, they did away with the National League having the pitchers hit, right? Okay. So now every, that's all you got. Now, do you think that's not right? Where they can't, where they can't, where pitchers Dep- can't hit? Depends on what side you're on, because there's two sides. 
What do you think about that, Mark Hodes? My mind somewhere else right now. I wasn't paying attention to what y'all said. Sorry. Um, we were we talking about the DH referring rule. to DH rule and not League. having pitchers in the majors. That Uh-oh. ball is crap. Well, that's gone, boy. Was. That's gone. Home run number three. Home yeah. run three. Yeah. Dominique <laughs> Pagese over the left field fence. Bye bye. And they're going to bring in a two run homer in for number fifteen, the senior for the Comets. <laughs> he, he crushed that ball. The outfielder moved a little bit, but I think he knew knew what was happening. Can I say that that was a rocket to left field? <laughs> <laughs> I let you pull out another Batman. That was a blast. That was a blast, buddy. <laughs> no, we were... He torpedoed that beyond. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know here? He said, "May I have another?" <laughs> Three zero now. What you play now? This is a comments. big game, First Mark. We talked 14. about this. This is number Bergen one and number two in conference playing, Mark Coates. He went to the well too many times. He was way out in front of that curveball on the first pitch. And yep. the very next pitch, he hung one and well, hit, another one. Dom, he went to the well. I like that. Dom's first, the, Dom's first at bat, we talked about how he needed to be patient. Yep. And this second at bat, I don't get against this pitcher. He was very patient. Well, his first at bat, he ended up seeing eight pitches. Right. So he, he had a pretty good bead on him. Now we need to get a bat from good old Biscuit right here. Biscuit Braden Souls. Pops up to left. They're going to get Short under and run for it. Left fielder comes in. Catch made to away. Run it, run it in those hands. There aren't many shortstops I know of can go out in the left field and try to make a play. Sardi is up next. We're also at the top of the hour. We'll pause for 10 seconds of radio. Identification on all of our broadcast platforms. This is Comets Baseball for Clayton on the Community Radio Network. Community Radio Network. WCRN 87.9 FM. Clayton Garner, Raleigh, North Carolina, USA. We are CRN. And it is so good for you to join us wherever you are at the top of the hour at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in good old Clayton, North Carolina. I'm Wesley Outland, Mark Coates alongside Kenneth Collins and the 7-3 Cleveland Rams. Taking on the 4-3 and three Clayton Comets and uh, Clayton's taking them to school, Mark. There's still a lot of ball game left. Yes. A lot of ball game left. But we're going up there hacking. He's definitely not fooling us a whole lot. We have one strikeout, and it was the first batter of the game. Oh, Off the end of the bat. Right through flattery to the right. He really, beat him in time. Really nice play by Zach Steer. Off wow. The, on that right there. I thought it was going to take out flattery just a second ago with the ball. Man, the, that was very close. Well. Another Pepsi Aquafina scoring update at the end of the third inning. Kenneth, what you got? Uh, we got uh, six, five, 11, another 13 pitches for him. So I got 49 pitches so far through three innings, which is high. And Cam is back on the main. And I've got him at 46, 46 pitches. We're going to the top of the fourth. Comets baseball, CRN after radio timeout right now. It is the Comets 3-1 or 3-0 here as we go to the top of the fourth. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm getting important lessons about perseverance, teamwork, determination, respect, and dedication through playing sports in my school. Mom, dad, coach, in a few years. I'll probably forget a lot of the details but I won't forget the lessons I learned from the way you act towards my teammates, coaches, referees, and other fans. What kind of lesson do you want me to learn? I'm watching. This message has been brought to you by the North Carolina High School Athletic Association. At Well Exterior Services, the time is now. With mortgage interest rates up, so many smart homeowners are renovating rather than moving right now, and those who hire At Well Exterior Services in Greenville are thrilled that they did. 
for residential roof replacement, roof repairs, roof inspections, and more done right by a local family business with awesome customer reviews, please visit AtwellExtServices.com or call to set up a free inspection. Atwell Exterior Services, honesty, integrity, experience. The time is now. Back in Pleasant Field, top of the fourth inning, zeros across the board so far for the 7-3 Cleveland Rams. Ooh, and a swing water. and a strike again. Car in right center field. Please turn your headlights off. And Brian Soles laying down the law to somebody in right field. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> he, nope. he said gracias and I said it at the same time. Nope. <laughs> Brian's going to get a kick out of that. Oh, 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 he'll get a kick out of that. I know he will. Oh. Let's be smart here. If he'll just throw a fastball off the plate, he's going to wave at it. Oh. And it, it might be Brian and uh, Kenneth calling the, uh, the the first round of the Easter Invitational Ooh, on Saturday. Because you're, sure. you're, you're doing stuff for Easter, right? We're going to Greenville. Greenville. That's a fun place to be. We're going to Greenville. Will's moving into an apartment. Oh on, wow! On Saturday, so he's got he's in the middle of spring practice, and they have a scrimmage Saturday morning. Strike three, one away. They have a scrimmage, you know, intra squad scrimmage, and so after that, Coming he's, next he's moving Rams. into an apartment. You five. should talk to ECU Bert to see Moore. if they'll let you run the clock up at the football games no. down at Ficklin <laughs> Stadium. <laughs> Oh, I say that joke and leave my friend. I'm only playing. You go watch any baseball while you're there? I don't know. They're playing tonight, but I think they were playing UNCW at home tonight. They got a good squad. Will was going. Will you was said going for the it. most part that all the college games have pulled the plug for tomorrow, right? Like they get they gotta get them in today, but they get them in tomorrow's night. You, you don't have to pull out a wetsuit. Chopper. Fielded. Throw. throw. In time. Got him. That was a nice play by Cam. He got him. It was a little yeah. hesitation. The ump and the, in the, the field umpire were kind of looking, looking at, at one, one another. But, but you had one standing in front of the play and one standing behind the play. So. I think they were looking at Biscuit's feet to make sure he stayed on the bag. Yep. Coming up next. It's like it was, an, it, it was it's, it's, it's like an interrogation. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> to get him. Oh, first oh, Nick one, Nick one. I know him. I know him. That's Ty Lee, by the way, the deuce. Ty Lee with a two thirty eight average so far in the ten games he's played. Thirty four plate appearances, twenty one at bats, nine runs, five hits, nine RBIs, one double, one triple. No homers or grand slams. We ain't had anybody hit a grand slam this year, Mark, so far. Well, I mean, high school baseball, you're not going to see much of that. Pagese just knocked one and got a third home run of the year. Ooh, big swing. Ooh, Lee striked him up. 1-1. One, one. Well, now 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two the count. Cleveland Rams again, 7-3. and 3-1 three in conference. They are third. In the conference. The Comets are 3-0. and Woo. Man. <laughs> They are right now ranked first at 4-3. and three. Umpire flinched on that one, but didn't call them the inner half. <laughs> you better not watch another one. <laughs> He's, the, two, two, the two The two The two-two pitch. That's oh. to the outside of the plate. That can't be a little, look, look too comfortable on that one. Maybe that was a Terminator with a little bit of the humiliator. Definitely didn't turn into see you later. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> he needs to make a good pitch right here. Full Let's count. Go ahead and get out of the center. And he, right down and the he pipe got it, man. Out. Yes, on a full count. Three, two, Cameron Royal. High fives all around, smacks and fist pounds, and he's taking care of business, Mark Coach. That took care of everybody over Cleveland. That's a 12-pitch inning right there. 
Puts him at uh, 58. Yeah. For the ones that were curious. We're going to be right back after a word from one of our newest sponsors, Total Refrigeration AC Service. Total Refrigeration is your 24-hour emergency service with licensed and insured specialists that can take care of all your needs from commercial, residential, and industrial refrigeration. Total Refrigeration and AC Services proudly support all of Eastern North Carolina from the Triangle all the way to the Crystal Carolina Coast. And they service air repair also for all brands of refrigeration ice machines, heated and air conditioning equipment, and so much more. Located in Elm City, contact Total Refrigeration and AC Service today at 252-315-1482 for immediate service for 24-hour emergencies or contact the office directly at 252-650-4061. They're also available online at Total Comfort 123 at Yahoo.com. That's Total Comfort 123 at Yahoo.com. As simple as 123, spring, summer, hot months are upon us. Let Total Refrigeration keep you cool today. Thank you very much, Mr. Michael Davis. And we are looking forward to his partnership as well as Trevor Atwell, All State. Wake County Speedway, all of those partners coming on board for sponsorship on the Community Radio Network in some shape or form. Ready Appreciate kit. it. Ready kit? Swinging on the first pitch. Yes. Foul ball down the left field line. Second pitch for a ball. 1-1 one, one count. Staying with the pitcher, oh hi, Justin Flattery. Smart ECU will be be better this year. Please tell me they will be better. I would hope so. I'm not sure about what their rotation is. I know they've got a couple of starters, but they're some of their guys. Um, I know they they went out to uh, Texas this weekend and lost the series. They only they were one for two. They lost on Friday, one on Saturday, lost on Sunday. Even though it was close, but they still lost the series. <clears throat> I think they All were. Four. I think they were ranked 18th in one poll and 15th in another. Mm. I think they've been as high as 11th this year. Coming to bat next for the Cliff, Cliff, Cliff Godwin has had has made a strong show in the last last several years. Questions will be whether ECU can keep him. Well, Long that's term. been the thing so far. I mean, he's Definitely. been there. He's been there now for several years. And what was it? Not last year, but maybe year before. I think LSU come calling. Mm-hmm. And you know, you you would think if there was a program that somebody would leave for, LSU has been a powerhouse in D one baseball forever. Cliff played at ECU, so there's a there he is. Ooh, squared the bunt, called it for a strike, in her half. There's 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 some there's some things to be said about being happy and being not a lot of stress, you know, knowing that you know every time you you lose a ball game or something silly happens, you're not on the hot seat or something other like you may would be at a at a higher. Oh, I knew that was coming. Got him on the pickoff. Picked off Reddit Kent and thrown out stealing. Yep. Sorry, dude. This ain't college or major leagues. You're not going to probably get that call if you think you're going to slide around today. Yep. Ball beat you there. They're going to call you out 99.9% of the time. How about ECU football? Mm. Mm. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, They interviewed Coach Houston on Saturday, and they talked about what happened on Friday. Now, Friday, they were in shells and shoulder pads, so that means helmets and shoulder pads. Gotcha. Saturday, they were, you know, full pads, full contact, first first time they've hit since last uh, last fall when the season ended. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be able to tell more when I get to go watch the spring game April 13th. Um, Back roll curveball got him looking. They brought in a lot of good talent, some new receivers, some new quarterbacks. That was what I was curious to say about quarterback-wise. Well, I will tell you this. So, 
apparently last Friday, the offense lit the defense up in practice. Ooh. Uh, the insider information tells me they were getting eight, nine yards a carry on the ground, and there was four or five 40-yard-plus touchdowns that were scored against the defense. Ooh. Um, apparently, the defense – was alternating a lot of folks, not really, you know, it's spring. Right. So you're not, you're not got your starters per se. Right. You know, everybody's being evaluated, but, uh, apparently Saturday was, you know, uh, redemption day for the defense. So offense got the best of them on Friday. And what I understand the, the defense paid it, gave them a little bit of payback on Saturday. So, <laughs> you know. so in other words, a defensive coordinator lit a fuse. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. won't. He 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 won't appreciative of new guy coming in and showing him up. I'm quite sure. Because <laughs> yeah. ECU does have several new coaches. That's Hard hit struck. ball, left center. Left center. He's going back. Is that ball? That's out. It's out. He hung a curveball and Cam Bryant took him deep. Graham Strickland home run. Cam Bryant home run. One two count on Cam with two outs and he strokes it to. Hung, hung left, the curveball. Left center field. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm still stuck in JV mode. Uh, <laughs> Cam Bryant does, would, yes, in your opinion, is the pitch count get, Brent, getting on up there? Is he getting tired? Not as sharp as he was when he started. A lot of stuff. I mean, it's not having the oomph that it had when he first. And he hit a, he hit number twenty six, and the umpire Grant Buchanan is going to. He's just getting out there in the middle. Yeah, Buchanan's okay. He's gonna take first. Way to go, Cameron Bryant. And if I remember correctly, I want to say this is Cam Bryant's first home run of the year. Correct. It is. Cam Bryant, one hundred five average. 26 plate appearances, 19 at bats. Yeah, that one hung like six a six runs, ball. two hits, and now a home run. That was a solo homer, though, right? Oh, nobody yeah. was on. There wasn't nobody on. There was two outs. By the way, they're talking about that uh, that um, th there's weather coming, like right now, is what they're saying. Oh, really? Yeah. Tyler Long up again. No, no, Jennings Dunlap. Lead off batter for the comments. Yep, Jennings Dunlap. 0-2 count. He has struck out, and he flew out the right field. Correct. Cam Bryant with a home run. Grant Buchanan hit by a pitch by Flattery, and now the leadoff man Dunlap back up. The left fielder. Throw to second. Boy, he safe. He, oh, he got hit man. again. <laughs> yeah. I think they hit Buchanan again. Yep. Yeah. Second. <laughs> but he was already on the base. <laughs> saved by the base, not saved by the bell. <laughs> he, just, he just got another bruise from uh, Pitka <laughs> behind the plate. He hit a moving target. What a way to use your body there. One ball, two strikes. I'm going to check the weather channel there. Line drive, shortstop for the out. But after four complete innings, your Comets lead Cleveland four to zero. Yeah, see, um, I'm looking at it right now, and it's it's hovering over Wake County. Well, it says rain expected within the next hour. So we got about an hour to finish it up, right? What's the rule, Ken? You have to have five complete. Five complete. And we're starting the top of the field. And that doesn't matter what the, what the run what runs are. If, if, if they play five innings, the game they could be called due to weather. Correct. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, do they do that in MLB, or do, or do they have to play nine innings in, M in ML MLB? Yeah, it'd be five innings there also. Complete game. We have a new pitcher. We do. We do. Number 22. Gannon Johnson ready to see what this left hander will be able to will be able to do here. Gannon Johnson, the junior. 
So a pitching change. How many how many pitches did Cameron Royal throw? Uh, 58. 58. What I have you, Matt. I'll take your word for it. You, you, you know, scribble, scrabble in the book. So, absolutely. <laughs> Mark, can you do that? Have you done the book? No. You, no. As a pitcher, you <laughs> learn how to chart. You learn how to do all that stuff in college. My wife knows how to keep a book now, and she's like you. If it's an error, she thinks it's an error. She's calling an error. She ain't it's- giving you. She'll, she'll exactly. call it the way it is, right? Yes, she will. I think the umpires are having that discussion right now with the coach, Morrison. So the plan is, the plan is tomorrow. We are scheduled to play at 4 and 7 at Cleveland. Hey, <laughs> Mark said it, I quote, you ain't getting – you ain't getting what? Oh. He, Mark, Mark said, you ain't getting me up the stairs no more up there at Cleveland. You know, you got to climb the stairs to go to the oh, top yeah. of the roof to the broadcast booth. Mark said, nope, you did it to me one time. I'll never do it again. Oh. They're warming up. Somebody in the Cleveland bullpen down there. I can't tell who it is. Right On the mound the for the Comets, it's going to be Gannon Johnson. So Gannon Johnson has now officially been given the call as Zaylin Ingram is up. Zaylin Ingram is up. All right. So we know there's a chance of some weather right now. We're going to finish it up here in the top of the fifth inning. We go zeros across the board still, Kenneth, for the Rams of Cleveland. But they've had many chances to try to bring in. They just come up short of the Comets defense. Johnson first pitch, and it's a strike, Mark. First pitch strikes are what you what you want to see out of a out of a pitcher. Correct. Get ahead in the count. Makes it easier than it does to pitch from behind. Verbatimly, guys. How fast do you think those pitchers are coming at them right now on the high school level? I would defer to my man Kenneth for that. I would say Cam was uh, mid-80s. I would say Gannon's cutting the ball in. I would say he's somewhere around 75 to 80 would be my guess. What about Flattery? <sighs> he's about the same for, for for him with uh, – uh, There's Roy. fly ball to center. Uh, oh, Reddick just got – Oh, sniffered. he just fell. Yeah, our, our center fielder just face it in the grass. Unfortunately, Coming that to the is for the Rams. a hit. And he might be a little slow getting up, guys. He's trying to shrug it off, but I think that's more embarrassment than it is anything else. Oh, no, it's he's he's he was tracking pulling his back. I can see that much. Well, he fell awkwardly, but uh, the wheels were still spinning, but he was not going nowhere. Mm. You were saying about Flattery? I would say he's probably mid 70s. I mean, Flaherty's young, probably topping out 80 occasionally, just. By the eye test here in the booth. Hey, he's a freshman. Sophomore. Uh, I don't think he's sophomore. I understand he's a senior. Understanding it is starting he's to rain bag. outside. Oh, he slid by the bag. Yep. yep. It is starting to mist outside, is what we were just told. Kim stayed with the tag. He slid by the bag and came off. One out. I guess the I guess the baseball gods took care of that, huh? They did. Now you get back to the top of the lineup. We have I don't know what he called that pitch. I think it was a ball. Four zero. Pitch. So that was a strike, curveball first strike. Pitch. Ground ball to second. There it is. Two away. Very quickly. Guys, I'm being told it is starting to rain outside. Hush your mouth. 
Close your mouth. There is no idea of knowing. Thomas <laughs> <laughs> Mark- just need to retire the, 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 the batter here. Yeah. Especially if there's a problem with weather, right, Mark? Mm-hmm. Bounce it up from the I thought you were right. laughing because you if knew I, I knew Willy Wonka. No. If I'm the, <laughs> he'd, if I, he would paint you no know, mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You were saying, Mark? No, I'm just saying, if, I, if I'm Morrison, I want to get this out as quickly as I can. Yep, 1-1. One, one. And uh, get up in, get up to the bottom of the inning. And, and the parking lot is full. Softball field. Yeah. Down here by the baseball Damn. field. Jackie said right now Cleveland is beating Clayton in softball 7-2. And I guess they go under the same rule as as, as b- baseball would be, right? I mean, weather weather could call it. I'm assuming they play seven innings as well. I think in the softball side of things, I think Garner's the the team to beat this year in softball. Yeah, they beat us last uh, last Tuesday night on the road three zero. I think they brought back all their starters uh, from last year. Oh wow, that's strong. Got yeah. a good squad. I can tell you that much. Good looking Hard hit ball up the middle, past the pitcher, past the shortstop. Set for what they hit. hit. That's the second hit of the game. Bat next for the Rams is going to be bringing up number seven, number eight, Seth Pinnaka. Number seven, seven. is that uh, is Zach Steer? Just got yeah. hit. Yeah, Seth Pinnaka was say, at first. Here's some Brian steer Soles, now. Brian, Brian Soles is a little behind here. This it's is all right. Zach They're going to bring in number three of Mason Collins to run for him. Yep. Zach Steer is up. Number seven, the senior. I smell popcorn. Oh, it smells good. I imagine so. It's just beneath you. <laughs> oh, good pitch. Must have been low for a ball. So is Will going to play in the football game on Saturday? I mean, they all get in the scrimmage. This is the time of year you get out and show what you're worth. Yeah, I was about to say, could he be a walk-on starter, you, you, possibly? You, you get out and you compete. That's that's all I've told him. Go compete. Looking for the opportunity. That's it. And what you do with it? Totally up to you. Intermittent rain and thunderstorms will begin at 849 Eastern. Two balls, one strike. You can't control what other people do, but what you can control is your effort. Oh, yeah, that's true. You, that's going to put us in a delay. Lightning. What that happened? That was a big yep. lightning. There it is. You Gosh. heard me say, you heard me say, uh, you heard me say oh, thunder Lord. and lightning was in the area. That was a big old flash of lightning. That's a minimum of 30 minutes. Yes. From the last strike. Weather delay. There's John A. jumping out on the field. John has Musson. Letting them know that we're going under a weather delay. It's a 30-minute delay. It's just like what happens uh, at NASCAR events or any outdoor national or high school college events. Basically, 30 minutes. 30-minute delay. If there is another lightning strike, then the clock resets for another 30 minutes. And it will be that way until... There is 30 minutes of no lightning or thunder, any of that stuff going on. Mark, we, we, we've had this happen before here, if you remember. Yeah. Rain delays are never um, fun. I recall the, the rain delay last year. Who was it we were playing, and we had a huge lead? Wasn't it uh, Fuquay Arena? And they went out to the parking lot, and when they come back, yeah. they, they, they spanked us like we had Fuquay Arena. No tomorrow. And we were ahead, yeah. I, God, six, seven runs or more. Yep, yep. Came back and they 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 thumped us, man. That was against the few Quaverina Bengals. Ladies and gentlemen. Totally changed everything. If you would, the Cleveland players, please go to the gym. All other family, parents, please, exit please go to automobiles. There we are now on a 30-minute lightning delay. Oh, there you go. So hang tight. And this 30-minute lightning delay will end at 
8.58 p.m. Unless, unless we have thunder and lightning reported again. And then the clock has to reset. And we've seen that mark do that time and time in the past over and over again. So we are under a weather delay. It's now, I believe it's at the, still the top of the fifth. Did Do they have they to play five innings? Five complete. So that's so just heard somebody say it was raining so hard up the road at DPC that yeah. they couldn't see. Oh, wow. So that's only two or three miles from here. Yeah. We are going under a weather delay. We'll have more details very soon. Stand by. Yeah, show me my pony, top spot I want it, my grind I'm on it, can't stop, keep going, wanna know me, can't call me, I remember feeling lonely, I remember when they told me, I would never get the trophy, show me my pony, top spot I want it, my grind I'm on it, can't stop, keep going, wanna know me, can't call me, I remember feeling hungry, now I'm coming for the trophy, cause this is my moment. I'm a dog, and my back against the wall. I accept every challenge, had the battle for my battles. From a pillar to the palace, treat the trouble like a chalice. Stay on my grind, great things take time. Now how I shine, you might go blind. Come along for the ride, cause I'm headed to the top with it. Knowing this is my only option, they can never have stopped this. Show me my pony, top spot I want it. My grind, I'm on it. Can't stop, keep going. Wanna know me, can't call me. I remember feeling lonely. I remember when they told me I would never get the trophy. Show me my pony. Top spot, I want it. My grind, I'm on it. Can't stop, keep going. Wanna know me, can't call me. I remember feeling hungry. Now I'm coming for the trophy. Cause this is my moment. Now, lions coming out to play now. Opposition yeah. out the way now. Out of the way. 
You wasn't invited. Say you come to play. I dare you to try it. You don't wanna try me. Just step up to my team. Yeah, out of the way. Yeah, yeah, out of the way. Yeah, yeah, out of the way. Cause I know looks can be deceiving Show me what I should be seeking So we can run riot and beating Send me out of guns of brazen Raising the fire for days in Cause we can take everything you got And spin it right back Cause we'll raise up and take it It came in fire Smoke's rising higher You know your time's up We are all back down for nothing Take aim and fire up Smoke's rising higher You know your time's up We won't back down for nothing Cause we're invincible No, we won't be shut out Horizon. I'll show you an army worth fighting. Cause we don't take nothing lying down low. No, we bet defense get ready for fighting. So point me in every direction. In the prize, you'll see my reflection. Cause we can take everything you got and spit it right back. Cause we're ready for action. Take aim and fire up. Smoke's rising higher. You know your time's up. We won't back down for nothing. Take aim and fire up. Smoke's rising higher. You know your time's up. We won't back down for nothing. Cause we're invincible. No, we won't be shut out. Won't take this fire now. Hey, it won't save you now. Cause we're invincible. No, we won't be shut out. Won't take this fire now. Hey, it won't save you now. Cause we're invincible. We are under a 30-minute lightning delay. Hopefully, we'll be back to soon. Action on Pleasant Field for the resumption of the Cleveland Rams and the Clayton Comets. Top of the fifth, the Comets are leading 4-0. Forget the past, so you gotta learn from it. Heavy on the passion, let it get it running. All the way you can outrun me. Ain't no way you can win this race. Ooh, when they turn the page to the white face down, they don't all in play. Ooh, just remember that when everything's falling, we do this for less. You can see it in my eyes, I only want the best. I live my own flame, and I put that on my own name. Couldn't get this way with no pain. I feel the fire in the sky. Oh, they 
looking for the goals. You can feel the pressure, bring it everywhere we go. And I deal with the highs, the same way I treat the lows. Oh no, don't close your eyes, I'm taking everything you owe me.
Understanding we are less than 10 minutes away. Understanding we are less than 10 minutes away for the resumption of this game at the top of the fifth inning. Clayton four, Cleveland zero. The top of the fourth inning with two balls, one strike, and two outs. We will resume this game pending no lightning strike in the next 10 lap minutes. Cross your fingers. Resumption at 9 o'clock Eastern.
Everybody, I'm being told now that the resumption of this game will be at 9 10 Eastern Daylight Time. That's 9 10, 9 10 Eastern Time, which is roughly about 10 minutes, 12 minutes from right now. 12 minutes from right now, this game is supposed to resume from the top of the fifth inning as well as softball. Jackie over there covering softball. We're covering baseball. They're saying in less than 11 minutes, we can go back to on field. 9-10, resumption of the game.
Community Radio Network, WCRN 87.9 FM, Clayton Garner, Raleigh, North Carolina, USA. We are CRN. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent. We hope you enjoy today's broadcast. We welcome you back. Pleasant Field. Rain delay, lightning delay is officially over. We are about to go back to the resumption of this game at the top of the fifth inning. 4-0, two balls, one strike, two outs. And Mark Coates, I was just jokingly talking with some people. We were one strike away from this umpire saying complete game. Yeah. Because it would have been like the seventh inning. No need for Clayton to play in the bottom. Right. Because they're up ahead. Right. But Now you, now you but, call the game, you're going to restart it. And, as, well. as Brian Souls says, that's our luck for Clayton Comets. What's your take of the game so far, though, Mark? Right now, 4-0, Clayton leading over Cleveland. Well, I mean, I thought I thought it had been a, a good game for the Comets. The pitching had held up. Uh, we've been fortunate to get a couple of home runs. Uh, you know, they were the only earned runs of the game so far. Uh, the first run was scored on a pass ball with an errant throw to the third baseman that he couldn't handle because it was on the wrong side of the bag. Right, right. Um, you know, so Clay, Clayton has been fortunate to, to be able to get – those key, uh, those two key home runs that were three of the four and be up right now four to nothing. So, you know, the way I look at it, they they won the first four and two thirds wheel. Uh, now you got to come out here and you got to win what I'm gonna just call the second half. It's a tell of two ball games now, right? You know, and and, you come and back, we've had this happen before where you, Clayton, you have. Do you come back with the same pitches you had? Yeah, been setting. Do you come back with somebody that's fresh? You know, me personally, I probably come back with somebody new, um, but that's that's just me. I'm not I'm not the coach. You know, I'm just sitting here thinking, hey, you had a guy throwing, and then the game got called. Now he's been sitting. You know, how do you get him warm back back up? You know, get his mind right, and so forth. As you said, we had one bite us in the tail last year uh, against Fuquay, where you were leading like this, and yeah, yeah, you know, we wound up we wound up losing that game in the. Uh, Second half, I'm gonna call it. So to a big rival game like the View Quaver and the Bengals, too. Yes. So you know, it is what it is. You know. Hopefully, everybody was able to uh, get some type of a uh, relaxation during this weather delay. By the way, that weather delay lasted almost 57 minutes. 57 minutes. It it had to reset twice um, for that lightning delay, but uh, once it finally got the go. Um, it looks like things are pretty clear now. What we saw on the radar, um, and meteorologist, I am not Mark Coates, but 
what I can tell you, what I saw on the radar was that little cell of rain. Mm -hmm. We didn't get that big gargantuan falling downpour like we thought we were going to get. I think yeah. we're on the side of the cell, if you will. Yeah, because we heard up the road up near DPC, which is only a couple miles up the road. It was raining so hard you couldn't even see in front of it. Yeah. And we got nothing. What do we have? Just a drizzle? We got well. I mean, a little bit, of a, shower, a little bit of a shower. It was enough to put the, make it put the tarps down. And, and if you're looking, you can literally see that the uh, that the, the the dugout's concrete is is wet. But it's no got stand, a glazing no standing on it. Water on the field. No, no, no standing water. Um, so no safety issues for the kids. Yeah. So. And this game will resume. And I'm, I'm understanding that the conversation also is in regards of Friday, Mark. They're talking about Friday. Being the makeup day Woo. for Cleveland. Yeah. Leave it to Jamie Lee for Good Friday <laughs> to screw up everybody's plans. Cause you want you want to win a game, you know, by win or by forfeit. <laughs> I I uh, you want to go to commercial break? <laughs> That's just oh, oh my yeah. god. Let's take a break, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Friday night family fun starts here. Your green flag in America's favorite bull ring. Wake County Speedway is Raleigh's home for exciting NASCAR short track racing. Trouble up in turn number three. The cars, the crowds, the throaty rumble of engines. All eyes on the green flag. Get the full schedule of races at wcspeedway.com. They're coming to the checkered flag. Wake County Speedway, just 10 minutes south of downtown Raleigh off US 401. Does getting a bonus for every 12 months you don't make a claim on your home insurance sound like a dream? At Allstate, they don't call it a dream. They call it a claim-free bonus. It's just one of the great features of your choice home insurance, only from Allstate. You should always get something back from your insurance company. That's Allstate, Stan. Are you in good hands? Terms and conditions apply. Call your Allstate agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE or visit allstate.ca. Total Refrigeration is your 24-hour emergency service with licensed and insured specialists that can take care of all your needs from commercial, residential, and industrial refrigeration. Total Refrigeration and AC Services proudly support all of Eastern North Carolina from the Triangle all the way to the Crystal Carolina Coast. And they service air repair also for all brands of refrigeration ice machines, heated and air conditioning equipment, and so much more. Located in Elm City, contact Total Refrigeration and AC Service today at 252-315-1482 for immediate service for 24-hour emergencies or contact the office directly at 252-650-4061. They're also available online at Total Comfort 123 at yahoo.com. That's Total Comfort 123 at yahoo.com. As simple as 123, spring, summer, hot months are upon us. Let Total Refrigeration keep you cool today. At Well Exterior Services, the time is now. With mortgage interest rates up, so many smart homeowners are renovating rather than moving right now, and those who hire At Well Exterior Services in Greenville are thrilled that they did. For residential roof replacement, roof repairs, roof inspections, and more, done right by a local family business with awesome customer reviews, please visit atwellextservices.com or call to set up a free inspection. At Well Exterior Services, honesty, integrity, experience. The time is now. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent. We hope you enjoy today's broadcast. So the weather delay has cleared. So the weather delay has cleared. 
We are about to go to the resumption of this game in the top of the fourth inning. Or I'm sorry, fifth inning. Top of the fifth inning. Zeros across the board for the Cleveland Rams. For the Comets, they've had one run brought in in the first. None in the second. Bottom of the third and fourth, two runs in a single. Before the weather delay. Kenny Collins, I bring you back to the CRM booth. Mark Coates as well. I'm Wesley Outland. About 9.30, we're looking for the resumption of this game after warm-ups. It might be actually sooner than that, as it is number 22 of Can- Gannon Johnson still warming up. Yep. One strike away from ending this game. Two. Two, two, two strikes two, away. My apologies. Strikes. We were one out away from this game being Correct. official. Yep. Yep. Are you like what Brian Soul said? It, it's our luck, literally. That's our luck. That's Comet's Ooh. luck. What are you looking at? The weather again? No. So who they play? USC Dudley. Ah. They came back to win. They were down 4 nothing. and who? came back to win 7-4. to four. ECU? ECU? Sorry, my head was on court when I saw the Pirates. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the ECU Pirates. Mm-hmm. The Pirates yes. baseball one. Oh, yeah. Scored seven unanswered after falling behind 4 to nothing. Wow. And, Ooh. Kenny, that's one of the things we're worried about here. Hopefully, cross your fingers, cross your eyes, your legs. One of the things me and Mark were talking about we're coming back from the weather delay, we've seen before last year when they played against Fuquay Arena, yep. where they literally were up ahead by like six runs, yep. and then they were totally complacent, got lazy, and got blown away well, when no, that no. came resumed. So when we came back, if you remember, we brought Sam Marm back, and he'd already, he was 60 pitches in. Mm-hmm. Tonight, we're bringing Gannon back, but he's 10 pitches in. So he really didn't even get loose. Right. On that, so this is a little different situation little different. But, just because of but that. But they were cutting up. They were acting a fool. They were eating chicken sandwiches, you know, drinking sodas oh, and, and, and Gatorade oh, yeah. and everything else, and then they come back out and they played sloppy. We well, can't let that happen tonight. Well, some of these kids learned from last year. Let, let's hope. <laughs> let's hope they remember that and they learn. Well, I hope you're ready for some hear, baseball because it's about hear, to get going that again. Sound in my head again, Mark. Don't say it. Mark, don't say it. Because I'll be honest with you, <laughs> it, at the end of the day, that's about leadership. Correct. Correct. I'm not calling no names, but they ain't here no more. After almost a 65 minute weather delay, still a little sprinkle here at Pleasant Field. We're ready to resume the top of the fifth with Johnson in the pitch. Harder. Hit by Steer. Throw to first, Mark. Oh, don't sell it. There you go. There you go. And yeah. that's all we would have needed. Correct. Right? That was a- hey. <laughs> Ain't you supposed to underhand that ball? We would prefer for, prefer for, that to be underhanded. Because I could just see that ball selling. <laughs> One pitch. That's it. That's all it took. That's all it took. After what? Five, four and a half complete? Yes, uh, five and a half. Well, no, it's not five and a half. The four and a half. Yeah, four, four and, and a half. half yeah. Comments four. That other team zero. <laughs> this message is for you, Mark. Important lessons about perseverance, teamwork, determination, respect, and dedication to playing sports at my school. Mom, Dad, Coach, in a few years, I'll probably forget a lot of the details, but I won't forget the lessons I learned from the way you act towards my teammates, coaches, referees, and other fans. What kind of lesson do you want me to learn? I'm watching. This message has been brought to you by the North Carolina High School Athletic Association. Sportsmanship. It means a lot of things. It means showing respect for the opposing team. And being a good host for our visitors. It's about modeling good behavior and not getting caught up in the emotion of the moment. It's about winning with humility. Losing with dignity. It is about making my high school games. It's a good memory that I can enjoy for years to come. Mr. Official. Mom. Dad. Son. Daughter. Coach. Are we in this together? Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship. Together, together we, we make the right call. This message has been brought to you by the North Carolina High School Athletic Association. Kenny, we do have a pitching change, don't we? We, we do have a pitching change. You got an update for us? Breaking news? Oh, breaking news. We have uh, Brooke Moore coming in to pitch for Flaherty. Number five. Number five. Big righty. Junior. So, number five, Brooks Moore, the junior outfielder pitcher, right-hander, is going to be coming in. And the Comets are now going to try to bring it. Is it manufactured runtime, Mark? No. No, you're bottom, you're bottom of the fifth inning. So, I mean, 
You want to play smart, right? Just go ahead and play. Coming to the plate, point. number eleven you catcher two, Owen. Two, three, Fitz four Simmons. coming to the plate. Two, three, four in the Clayton lineup. Harder to line up facing a new pitcher. By the way, we continue to stay on for video because obviously our protection's indoors in the tower. Jackie is back on the call for the softball game on the radio only at wearecrn.com. First pitch was a curveball for a strike. And that was number 11. Owen Fitzsimmons shot chopping. to left. Yeah, Third, here we go. The throw in the dirt, and it scooped. For the out. He was kind of sideways whenever he went with it, but he, he got to the bag in time. Hitter, number 15, Dominic Pagoose. I bet he gets a curveball with you, bet. <laughs> Is this somebody that they could swing off of? I think, uh, I, think I saw a squirrel fall out of the tree across the street on the one he hit last time. When somebody Pugues asked me if I saw where it went. I said, it's across the road, dude. Well, the mound for the yeah. Rams, number five, Brooks Moore. It, it cleared the, what would be a net. Yes. <laughs> What's that fence about 20 foot tall? It, it out went China? over yeah. that fence. Yeah, it cleared that fence. Very... I think it ended up in that brick house parking lot over there in the uh, in the driveway. There's your first pitch curveball for a strike. <laughs> he didn't know it's a ball. He, he, called, oh. he called that a ball. <laughs> pitch. Outside. That's the ball, too. Hitter count, 2 and 0. Yeah, I know I'm pulling here. How do you get back in the mindset, guys, after a weather delay to get back in the rhythm of going again? How do, how do you, how do you, do, do you, do you, you know, pitch that one will be ball three, three and oh. How do you get back into the rhythm, Mark, after not playing for like well, an hour just, and an hour and five to, minutes? You just need to do something. Somebody's got to put the bat on the ball. Somebody's got to make a play. I mean, you, there's a walk. You had momentum. Now, with the rain delay, you know, you've lost momentum. Come to the play for the Comets, you know, so even though you're up by four. Well, you're Number 14, I mean, the Comets Souls. come back, and they get a chopper, they get the out. You know, now you come up, and you've got to put the ball in place. So, now you got a runner on first, one out, and the four-hole batter, Biscuit, Biscuit coming up the bat for the Comets. So, we don't need anything special. We just need a ball in the gap somewhere. Well, I mean – Senior at first, senior at the plate. Runners first and second, second and third. You know, you make, make something happen just like that. Oh, he's he spilled it. it. Double play. Got, Got him. him. Wow. Just hard that hit. retires the side at the smoked bottom it. of the fifth. Hard hit ball. I mean, that was that was Absolute. smoke. And the third baseman made a heck of a play. Yeah. So they may turn to double play. So, you know, just, just that quickly, you know, you had somebody on – on base, and you hit into a double play, and now you switch innings and go to the top of the six. That ball was tattooed. It was. It's that not, ball just got tattooed. That, 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 that <laughs> ball looks like an egg now. It's no longer It's no longer well, round. It looks like a Jewish biscuit. cemetery or something like <laughs> that. Like You're watching too much Brockmeyer. That, ball, that baseball looks like a biscuit at this point. <laughs> <laughs> top of the six city, ladies and gentlemen. And we got a new pitch. Yes, we're back in a moment. We have Cole brought Clay. in Cole Rory. To oh, they brought in another. He, really? That's what he was Is that smart, though? Is that smart, though? Because you only had – you only let Gannon Johnson pitch. All about pitch count. So he'll be clean for the weekend going into the tournament. Wow. Now this is who this. I was thinking of. Cole, Cole Rory. This is think? who I was thinking of. So Honestly, you could go 1-1. Go one, one. You, you could. do him and do Jennings and then – Everything's clean for the weekend. Well, I can tell you this. No. I can tell y'all this, and I can say it here on the radio and CRN as well. There are some people that are mighty furious that there is a chance that Cleveland and Clayton, Clayton will be traveling to Cleveland on Friday to make up the game that's postponed tomorrow because of weather. And you've said how you felt about it. I want to play ball. Yeah. I'm a ball player. <laughs> tell him to stick it. I want to play ball. <laughs> is that what he's hoping? Is he hoping we'll go play so it wear us down? Or is he hoping that we'll forfeit so he'll get a win and not have to? Uh, he knows we're not a forfeit. It's a conference game. We, how can we? Yeah, we can't forfeit. It's a conference game. Yeah. The tournament's not conference. The, the problem is, is we've already missed one conference game. We really can't afford to miss two. Right. So, you know what? I You know something. But, I mean, that that's just. Go play the game, smoke their ass, and then screw the tournament. And then, you know, tournament, I mean, you got to hit your way through it anyway. You do. 
28, Aubrey Stanley. All right, we're back. Aubrey Stanley is up now. This is the top of the sixth inning. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We just need. Do you video that when you. Did, did you video that when you did it a moment the ago? Double play. With, with I biscuit? Did. Yeah, because yeah, we're, we're, we're working on some uh, mechanics in the hitting side of things. He jumped all over that first pitch. One, one. There. That was inside corner call. For Correct. Sure. This is Stanley, as we forementioned, number 23. Yeah. Strike two. Location, location, location. Not going under his hands. 565 batting, batting average. Played appearances is 35 at bat out of 35 plate appearances. Seven runs, 13 hits, three doubles, Woo. three RBIs. That's it. Three, two. Sounds three, like two. they're swinging the bat like crazy over there for Saul, don't it? Hmm. That's my daddy said. That'll that'll knock you noggin. Shot to left. Is that foul? Yep. It is on a full count. He's he's battling, Mark. Staying he's alive. Done. Seven pitches. What they call a quab. <laughs> you know what a quab We're is? We're going to be playing until the cows come I home. Do not. That's four, right? Quality four. of bet. Quality. Oh, quad, quad, quad. quad. I, I meant you get quad. Eight. I said quad, quad four. Quad. You get to <laughs> get the eight pitches. That's a quality, <laughs> quality of bet. That's where he's at. Too many people. Now that you reminded me of that, too many people focus <laughs> on batting averages <laughs> and not that and not on base percentage. Well, think about Dom in his first at bat. Right. He saw the lefty got seven pitches and ended up getting walked. And seven or eight, and then turn around. And hit the bomb on him next time around. Another foul ball. Yeah, but you know how many people you know how many people pay attention pay attention. To look look at a, a, a walk a walk to me is as good as a hit. Correct. Some people frown on that. Though. They'd rather see you strike out trying to knock it over the fence than take the walk. Woo. There's a walk for Stanley, and he'll head to first. On a mound for the comments. He was on a full one, count. Total, Somehow or another, he stayed in Coming and Kenneth, and he's able to get a walk and head to first base, Mark. It's going to be number 10. What Cooper you need right Phillips. now is a ground ball up the middle to be fielded, step on second, throw to first. Yep. That was a 10 pitch at bat right there. Call this one a night. Uh oh. Runner? I think so. Trying to take away that double play. He's not He's not a position player. He's just a DH, right? Correct. Uh, the only other spot I've seen him play is, is first. So, I mean, Back in the day, he actually pitched, but I don't think he does that anymore. But if you run for him now, does that he still be able to DH? I don't think he can re-enter him. I don't think. Not let you enter him in as a position, like first base or something? Mm-hmm. We're having a whole lot of conversation about something. I mean. Number three coming out of the dugout. That's uh, that's number three of Mason Collins. Mason Collins coming to run for him. Which he was the guy that was designated to run for the catcher. Okay. They're changing something I up here on the on the paperwork. I stand by my comment. Grand ball up the middle, turn two. Now this this stuff that these umps write down, did, did they turn them in to the game at the end or something, or is that just for their own notes? That I don't have a clue. Well, the pitch the pitch counts, the the coaches have to sign off on each side, and those can be looked up or evaluated or however they're doing the pitch count these days. Well, Rowry is ready. Swing, Swing and a miss. Guy. strike one. Down, That's everybody. Cooper Phillips there, number 10 at the plate. Stanley was walked to first now at the back. Getting a run, a lead, a pitch. Swing strike two. Strike two. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what he was. He did not pick up the spin on that one. Yeah. That's about as nice I would as you put, put it. not in front of Quab on this one. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, he thought about it. 
It was a good pitch. 0-2. That's what I've been looking for. Quality pitch on that. Now let's go get him. He set him up to come in now if he wants him. If he gets in under hands, he's done. Looks like we're staying away again. 1-2. Nice shot to left. Get up under it, left fielder for the Comets. He's there. Jennings Dunlap and one away. Another fly to left field. Coming to the plate for the Rams. Going to be number 18. Stall Jack number three, Mark of Phillips. He can't go nowhere. Collins can't go nowhere at first. Mm-mm. Well, he did what he's supposed to. He went halfway, watched it. Ball was caught. He got back to his bag. Correct. So. Pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. They are not seeing the spin right now at all. How does it confuse a batter when you see a lefty and then you switch to a righty or reverse? One of the biggest things locating, you know, <laughs> lefties a lot of times will turn that turn that over. Does a lefty tend to have more Ooh, like a off the bricks. like a longer arm slot? Like, do, do they take longer to deliver than a right-handed pitcher? The biggest thing is to switch to the shoulders where you're looking, the eye adjustment. So the angle. And then, you know, like like Derek, for example, Derek, that two of his, he throws it, it cuts down and away. You have some lefties to get around it. Like their their lefty Flaherty did Whoa. more getting around the ball, right? trying to backdoor him <coughs> than, you know, Gannon was flipping it in, kind of running it in her hand some. I saw I saw a video. Oh, two. I saw a video of Greg Maddox throwing a two seam fastball the other day, and I swear it looked like it was a curveball. Mm-hmm. <coughs> fastball on the outside corner of the plate, and you just swerve right in. Pretty yep. easy thing. <coughs> you don't see pitching like that today. No, everybody talks velocity. That's why there's more and more kids getting hurt. Oh, he got hit. Yeah, he bounced off. Bounced off, off the shin. Oh boy. He's even got. A, he's even he got a swung guard at there. it. Did he's they call that? Did they call it a, a foul or did he strike out? That's oh, it's a foul. foul ball. I was gonna say he swung at it, but it bounced off his body. Yeah, he's in the box. Foul ball. He's got a foot guard down there, but mm, if mm, that mm, ball mm. hits him out of the box, a different story. Correct. Yeah, everybody's everybody's focused on velocity, 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 and that's why right now, if you look at uh, the hit batters across the nation, there's more now than there's ever been. Than there's ever been. And that's because pitchers just don't care. We're going to throw as hard as we can. We're going to close our eyes and see if it hits the mitt. <laughs> sometimes it does, and sometimes it don't. One away in the 0-2. Swing, Swing and down goes Cooper Phillips. For now, two outs We're recorded. Two away, now coming to the play for the Rams. All right. Number five, Brooks Moore. Number five, Brooks Moore up now. Let's see what the junior can do. He's pitching also in this game. So now you're not worried about turning two. You just want to get out either a force at second or, or first, either one. Correct. Whatever's easiest. Whatever's easiest. Strike one. I'm going to foul tip. We have Jennings. Who else we have that can pitch? It was long pitch. No one on the count. Thought I remembered him pitching. Rowry. Pitch and pop in the air. They're going to try to get a biscuit. Braden Souls. Yeah, baby. And that retires the side at the top of the sixth inning. Fly to three. So he had 10. I mean, 21 pitches for Cole there because of the 10 pitch of that. Aha. So the Comets are ready to hit again. Mark, could I just, just hold, right? Just hold. Do what you're doing. Hold. Do what you do. Hold. Do what you do. Go up there and look. You're in the bottom of the six. Uh, you know, try to get, try to get you, try to get an extra run here. Uh, if you want to call it manufactured, call it manufactured. If you need to bunt somebody over or something, do it. You know, but to, to me, just just go out there and hit the baseball and make and be smart. The biggest thing kids do these days, they don't play smart. 
Is it kids or is it uh, above the kids? Well, that's the baby. <laughs> we could sit here and have that discussion all day about some. I mean, they had, they had what, first and second twice? Cleveland? At least first with no outs. Once and first and second, no outs. Yep. In another inning, and they have zero to show for it. Be a different, different ball game if uh, you they got could have two or three runs on the board if you execute correct something different correct. And then instead of being four zero, it's a four two or four three or four three. Alejandro, this is a whole different. It gives, sort of concept. It gives your kids something something called hope. Correct. And hope. energy. Yeah, hope. Then you're up instead of down. Your shoulders are square. They're back. They're not slumped and bent over like. Yep. I'm ready to go. Right. Let's try this so, again. By the way, four zero bottom of the sixth inning. Kenny, you're gonna add more to that. So the question is: Is do you think Cole's gonna come back out after 21 pitches? I mean, he'll have Cole, Thursday. Cole Rowry. Yeah, you have Thursday if they play Friday. Then you can't. You probably can't use him Friday. So you're saving. You're saving. Cameron Royal, right? Cam's done. Right, like he can't right. pitch till probably Saturday. Right, so Cameron Royal's done. Correct. Yeah, uh, what is his name? Uh, Gannon. Gannon Johnson did what? Twenty. He's under twenty. What's so the he's ca- what's fine. the count? How far can Cole go and still pitch on Friday? If he had to thirty, probably forty-five. Thirty, forty-five. Hmm. Well, then, I mean, it's debatable. I would say keep Rowery in. De- depend, just depends, but I mean, no. Well, the no, thing is, you have Jennings and you have Tyler Long. Long. Do yeah. you use those two to get through one inning if you have to? Hey, you got Landon just Evans. You got Landon yeah. Evans too. La- Landon Landon's Evans. hurt. He's out. Really? He's hurt. Oh man. Unfortunately. Yeah. What about Con- Con- Conan? Joseph Conan. Lucas Hatch. You've got another two or three Pops pitchers the, we didn't even mention. Pops right to field. right. Catch made. One away. Oh. On a full count. Coming to the plate oh. for the comments now. Number two, center fielder Reddick Kent. So, Al again. For number 17 of Alejandro Sardi. And Reddick Kent is up now. He is the number six batter in the middle three. You just need a base runner. For center today. fielder. Just a base base runner. Just need a base runner. That's kind of what, I mean, this is going to be his last inning. You need to work some counts to do exactly what we're talking about with Clayton's side. Mm-hmm. With Brooks Moore, you mean? Mm-hmm. What's his pitch count right now? I mean, he, last inning, he only threw seven pitches. But if you can get another... Couple of hits, a couple of people on base. I'm gonna tell you what, if they can straighten that out and get it in a gap somewhere. It's gonna be fun. That's a fair bear. That's a fair ball. It's it. a, in a corner in a gap, you standing on second. Curveball. One two coming up so. for more. There it is. There it is. Locked him up. And strike and two outs. All right, I got another question. All right, I, 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 I've never. Way, coming to I'm not the baseball person. Tyler Long, you and other folks are. But twelve six. Yep. Versus your standard, or you know, where you're trying to make it work left, right, right to left. Nobody mixes it up. Well, at least in my opinion, I don't know. I just a lot, a lot of people either teach one or the other. Nobody usually learns both. It's a little hard. It's like, you know, I, Derek and I worked on the slider, but we didn't really work on it till late in his junior year, senior year. So, you know, you got to get around that. And then it's really ripping and rip it on the elbow compared to, hey, I'm going to give the thumbs up, as I call it, and, right. and flip it in there. <laughs> so, I mean, it depends on, it depends on your, your arm slot, right? So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I have uh, Kel Scruggs who played with us at uh, C35. Walk. Is, yep, on five. There's a walk for number eight, and that's going to send Tyler Long to first. Late night baseball. So we're approaching 10 p.m. Eastern. Bad now. Number 27, shortstop, Cam Bryant. Who had a home run his last at bat? Yeah. Hanging Cam Bryant cur- did knock curveball. one to left. Yes, he did. He rocketed one to left. He did. 
uh, or before we got in here, it was a zing to left field. Zing to left, baby. Zing, zing. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me say bazinga. Okay, don't oh, let me go. Goodness. Don't let me go. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, Chopper. Yeah, bing bang theory. Oh, that's gonna on be a you. tough play. That's gonna it's be foul. foul ball. Yeah, he's got to come back. But so we had. Uh, he was at, down at uh, Southern Lee. He's at Campbell, and Campbell said, uh, "Going in, they wanted him to work on a curveball." Um, so he's been a slider, fastball slider guy. He threw a curveball earlier, and he just couldn't get it because of his arm slot. He started working on it, and then this year he got hurt at Campbell and just had to have a uh, some work done Late on that night. side of things. Just you know, I mean, you can argue a lot of different points on that side of things. I'm not a big slider guy, but neither the, am I. There's some whose arms 